The late adopter. Hi, yes, I do. Welcome back to the channel to the new video. Right now we're doing Dogecoin because everybody wants me to do Dogecoin. It looks like it's pumping again. Then there is this uh, Elon Musk uh, thing coming up at Saturday Night Live where people are saying that he's gonna talk about uh, Dogecoin. So whether he's gonna do that or not, eh, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna see that but it's it looks like he's pumping again. Uh, I will check uh, look to, over it and it looks uh, bullish uh, So I'm gonna show you what's actually happening before we start that I have to shill my stuff first First of all the channel very good uh, altcoins like six to ten altcoins every single day Depends on what you like decent technical analysis. We do that. We got a telegram channel uh, 2200 plus uh, members right now uh, Growing very nice community always talking about uh, whatever is hyped uh, <laughs> Right now dogecoin of course and then we got the patreon the best time to buy right now uh, Because it's first of May we do something called daily outcomes video. So if you have trouble picking coins, if you're the, the kind of guy that buys 30% uh, pumps and then sells after a 5% dump, after that uh, you might actually need some help and that actually might uh, help you a lot. Do check the Patreon because I think it's 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 very, very valuable for somebody that uh, doesn't know how to pick coins. That said, let's get in the chart, see what's actually happening with Dogecoin. Man, it, it looks nice. It looks nice. I'm gonna tell you it looks nice. First of all, the first thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna start with the weekly chart and we're gonna just gonna see that uh, here on this candle up here, we went all the way up to 93 on the RSI. This is called something called a rubber band index. So basically, if you stretch it too much, it has to come back. And after 95 levels, it stretched too much, so it has to come back. So it went back all the way uh, next week on the red candle, went back to the 75 levels, which are fine levels for pumping more. Uh, it's not that extended on the on the 10 moving average. This is 10 moving average, 20, 50 moving average. It's not that extended because if you get too much extended from some kind of averages, uh, you have to pull back as well. So it's not too extended. It's uh, the, the rubber band index is uh, sitting fine. So on the weekly chart, we are do doing very, very nicely. So let's uh, look at these uh, rubber band index on the daily chart. And on the daily chart, we are sitting right now at some 66 levels. We were down here. We were at 50, uh, 50 levels, which were actually very nice. And not only that, we are getting this bullish cross on, on the MACD. So this rubber band index says we are not overextended. Like over here, we were extended. We are at 96 on the daily. Like, ah, that's too much, you know. But right now, we sitting at very nice level so a rubber bear in rubber band index is good and this uh, zigzag uh, thing over here that uh, it was we are in the red and uh, you want to be in the green so basically we are back in the green again with this cross over here cross over here confirms the bottom so this looks actually nice on the daily as well so basically uh, the dogecoin is actually bullish you like it or not it's bullish okay that's uh, let's get in a small uh, small time frame i'm going to show you some very nice uh, nice stuff uh, so basically after we pump over here we try to get uh, uh, we try to get uh, higher couldn't this was some kind of a double top i think it, there it was also some kind of rsi uh, uh where is it from here here no there is no error so is it it's on the daily it's on the daily yeah it's on the daily so on the daily there was a, a, something what we called rsi uh rsi uh, uh div right RSI divergence, uh, RSI divergence. So uh, the price is going up while the uh, RSI is going and going down. That's uh, that's RSI divergence on the daily chart. So that's why we uh, dumped over here. Uh, that's corrected. We went down. We reset this certain kind of levels. Uh, right now, uh, down here, the, we formed some kind of a, a triangle. I think triangle actually goes something from these these bottoms down here. You can see it clearly. Uh, something like this it went right and then uh, the, the, the uh, top of the triangle went something like this I'm gonna turn off the moving averages so you can see this very nicely and you can see here uh, we went into this triangle and once we got here we exploded the upside we go went up and now we are uh, catching back up to this uh, uh, this uh, this uh, support line and we are pumping again so technically technically uh, dogecoin is actually looking very healthy very nice and it's continuing around. how high are you gonna up here i don't know i don't know i don't know man but it, it's looking very nice so we're gonna see that we we are a little bit extended from the four more mo uh, 10 moving average on the four hourly time frame and usually when you get extended from this white line over here like over here some kind of sideways movements or, or down movements is expected just to pick up the price but it can actually this can actually actually you just continue going up and never get uh, if it starts pumping for real uh, it might actually go quite high you can see here previously um, although we did go up and pump like this was a big move and then uh, it came correction and this was a huge move and then came big correction 
So, uh, how many candles you gonna have before you actually uh, get back to the 10 moving average on the 4 hourly? It, it, it all depends, it all depends. And right now we only had the 3 candles, we are not that, technically we are not that excited. For, you know, for usual, for regular coins like Tron or something like that, like that's going slowly, like Litecoin, I don't know. Uh, this would be big extension and it would pull fall back, but for Dogecoin, this is like, eh. Piece of cake. Let's move. Let's move higher. That's a that that means that we have to go even further down the down the rabbit hole and uh, get into the uh, small time frames. And you're gonna see here that on the on the one hourly, it uh, when it pumps hard, it actually pumps. Uh, it hits the ten moving average on the, uh, uh, quite often uh, over here, over here, over here. It can go a few hours between. Uh, not a few hours. It can go so one, two, three, four, five, six hours. Six hour give and take. Uh, uh, like on on one hourly and just. Extend, 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 and that's what he's doing right now. So we got, uh, we got up, uh, and now we hit the 10 moving average. So we got up, and now I'm expecting some kind of hit on uh, 10 moving average as well. And that may be the best uh, time to buy. Uh, I think when it hits this 10 moving average, uh, because you don't wanna uh, suffer through the pain right now when it's going back on the ba back down. Uh, but like not financialize you do with your money what you want to do this is uh, dogecoin is always high risk coin right uh, uh, nah, but then dogecoin has Elon Musk in Saturday Night Live I mean how many other coins can say that they have Elon Musk in Saturday Night Live you understand so uh, so may maybe it's only hype maybe it's only news I think uh, news are already priced in so that's why uh, it's gonna hype what's gonna happen not quite sure that said it looks very very nice I, ca I cannot say anything else it looks very nice so some kind of some kind of a uh, uh, some kind of a resistance you have to hit. you can see here that right now we are hitting the resistance hitting resistance like MF you know this is a resistance we are hitting the resistance if the, it's a good time to buy now or not uh, it kind of depends kind of depends it might actually just start going back down and waiting for this uh, 10 moving average and then uh, going with the 10 moving average because i don't think the saturday night live is it today is it today i'm not quite sure if it's today or not so how how, how this uh, this is gonna play out it's it's hard to tell it's hard to tell uh because the resistance is getting hit but we got uh, uh, we got this other resistance up here as well, uh, so one of these two like uh, might actually be uh, decent. Let's see, 36 and 40. Uh, it's hard to tell. It's hard. Let's see what we have on a weekly. Weekly, we already broke a 32, so that's gone. 32 is all the way down here. That's gone. So yeah, we so we got two resistance on the way up, and after that, uh, you know, the sky is the limit or something like that. Let's see if we can actually figure it out uh, quickly. Uh, see. Uh, what the target should be because these these tops over here are really nice so we're gonna use those tops uh, because it looks like it looks like it might actually pan out Let, let's see let's see if this if my my magic I can work some magic down here uh, I don't, do I like this do I like this I don't like it that much I don't like it that much uh, let's see do I, do I like this one over here this one is not not that good either let's see for our chart let's move moving averages because we don't need for that uh let's look at a weekly chart can you get anything out of a weekly chart let's uh, let's remove all, all the lines and put the tops this is actually played out this is actually the best one actually and right now we are breaking the upside so that's the resistance that's being broken on the upside we don't have that anymore that's gone this is the bottom this is the top let's use this top over here yeah that's that that's actually this is actually is a very good one this is this is a support one because it hits the support here and the resistance up there it was keeping it and then broke it down here this is actually the best you can get but this this is already finished it doesn't help you you can see how nicely it actually is working down here ah oh, man if i knew this man i would have bought down here anyways that's it for the dodge video today yeah uh, you've seen what i what i think about it i think it's good i think it's uh, looking nice i think it might have some kind of pullback and it is hitting some kind of resistance so some kind of buys might actually be very risky right now uh, but all in all yeah dodge have always been a risky coin so you take that for whatever it's worth and uh, yeah don't take it to the bank right now but wait a little bit and then take it to the bank <laughs> that's it thanks guys for watching subscribe to the channel you know be part of the community join the telegram group a lot of people chatting away so don't go through the woods uh, crypto woods alone join the community have some people chat with see what their opinions uh, and likes are uh, learn more about this stuff check the patreon if you have trouble picking coins i'm telling you man you got the best value for the money you're gonna get is on my patreon because of the daily outcomes video that's so good that's so good so good thanks for watching i see you around bye, -bye.